Hey guys, Randy here. Um, want to make a quick video the um, um, on my uh, rolling lock tunnel cover. So I've had this thing for about a uh, oh about two three months, and uh, things work great. But the uh, <clears throat> problem I ran into just recently, um, over the past few days, um, we've gotten a lot of rain down here in Florida. Um, the roads went to, to crap. And, um, oh, shoot, the uh, um, I've noticed with um, <clears throat> going over the bumps and stuff, the uh, my rolling lock cover here has um, started opening on its own. Um, and by the time I get to the end of the road, things all the way up front um, rolled up. So um, I've done some looking around on here. I think I found the problem. Um, hopefully this video will help uh, some other people that are having similar issues um, figure it out here. Um, so let's take a look. All right. So uh, what I'm noticing first off, so we'll go over here. So <clears throat> the manufacturer specs um, are saying about an eighth inch max on the uh, um, side to side place. So if you grab your cover and uh, it's kind of hard to do with one hand, move it back and forth. I got a lot more than an eighth of an inch. I can tell by you <clears throat> without even uh, doing a tape measure. Um, so, and I can tell also here, oh, spider crashing the photo. Um, there's your lock <clears throat> on it. So whenever I move it over, you can see the lock coming through. When I move it away, you can see that the lock <clears throat> locking mechanism is gone. Um, so what I think is happening is going down the road with the flex and then the bumps is it's actually moving back and forth and it's ending up, uh, um, the locks are ending up inside. Now how you fix this and uh, what I noticed right away, we'll go over here, is um, there are adjustments. Um, all you literally got to do is um, uh, undo this screw and uh, take a screwdriver and uh, um, go on the backside screwdriver, pry bar, work it up in there, and uh, just kind of move it over to tighten it up. Um, one thing you want to do, watch whenever you do this, is make sure you're still at least trying to keep your uh, um, cover squared up as best as possible. So if you move it a little a little bit on one side, make sure you move it about the same on the other side. Um, so give me a few minutes and I'll uh, know to get this done and uh, we'll see how it looks after I finish. All right guys, so uh, really simple. It took me just a couple seconds to do. Um, <clears throat> literally, uh, uh, if you, uh, Rewind the video back a little bit and uh, look, I moved this, both of these on both sides, um, a good eighth of an inch on both of them. Um, this one's actually probably just a hair further out. I mean, it's not even probably a 32nd to a 16th of an inch further out. Then I moved the other one. But um, now with it locked, you can see the locks through on both sides when it's locked. So that's your, uh, uh, let me get it up here. So this is your lock right there. Um, that actually holds it back. So now, test it. And I think we're good. So uh, I'm gonna take it down the road and uh, see how it does. All right, guys, so uh, took the truck down the road and uh, uh, ran a couple errands real quick and then came back and uh, cover stayed, didn't roll up. Um, so uh, definitely that was the, uh, what was wrong with it there. Um, what I would suggest, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually um, end up taking mine uh, back apart a little bit. Um, I'm gonna pull the bolt all the way out. I'm gonna put some uh, uh, blue thread lock on it and then uh, um, what I would suggest too is, is where that uh, adjustment plate that you're adjusting, um, why you got the bolt out, kind of lean it back, put a couple things of, uh, um, well, just a couple drops of uh, silicone on it as well, um, like an RTV 
um, gasket silicone or something just kind of help hold it in place because I um, this came out of nowhere so what I'm thinking it's happened is going down the road um, it's like I said it's a rough road it gets even worse whenever it rains um, I think what's happened is is with the movement on the the bed of the truck the flexing of the bed and all that um, with the bumps it's hitting um, I think what's what it's done is just over the past couple months just kind of moved it over and uh, uh, knocked it out of adjustment and with adding the silicone and the thread lock that'll uh, uh, definitely keep it from happening down the road all right so uh, hope this helps you if you're having issues with uh, uh, your rolling lock um, tonneau cover mine's on a uh, 20 uh, 2021 2500 HD um, and uh, like I said it was really easy to fix uh, get lined out there um, if you enjoyed the video um, hit that like that subscribe button and uh, look forward to uh, uh, making some more videos for you